as we talk about entrepreneur, entrepreneur is the one who, who makes the idea to, to some kind of reality. How to do that? We need procedures, processes. And a good entrepreneur could make, could simplify things for the colleagues, for the clients, for, for that. The best way is to have standards, have some procedures. Because this is the way to, to learn. If something is measurable, like in the process, it's much easier because you know with numbers obviously you can you can measure things, you can you can you can evaluate what is good and what is not and where, which part of the procedure should be you know focused more and, and develop develop uh, further. This is how you set quality. Without numbers, without procedures, you have random quality because you may collect people, you have one client, you do something what you, 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 you try to do with the client to, to make some, some benefit for them. But without procedures and exact policies, it's very difficult to have a certain quality. And without that, you can't develop the, the company further. You can't have the, the self-reflection we just, we just uh, discussed a minute ago. So procedures, processes are very important. Also, a little bit uh, back to leadership, an entrepreneur should have some kind of certain level of charisma uh, to be able to not just influence people, but motivate people to follow you. So like if, I, if I'm telling you that I have a new company, I want to hire you to join my company, you have to believe in me, right? I have to be able to convince you. Have to have a certain level of you have to have a certain level of trust. I have to build it, right? Because if I just hire you from the market, you may hear about something about the company. But if a startup company it does not have a history, so the the personality of the entrepreneur, the founder, is very important here to find the key person. Especially if you want to hire like senior people, a specialist who you know can join whatever company because they are good in the market. They are good in their field, so there is a huge demand for them. To convince them, obviously you have to have some, some, some charisma. That's also very important to, to be able to hire new people.